Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's get right into your reading, Scorpio. Let's see what spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. I do want to wish you guys a happy Hallow's Eve. I uh, hope you guys are staying safe. And let's get on with your reading, Scorpio. How are you guys doing? How are you feeling? How are you dealing with these crazy ass energies? Wow. Heavy energy, to say the least. I do want to remind you guys that um, we have Pluto return. The end of October, beginning of September, uh, and it's um, and we also have Ketu in the eighth house, which is Scorpio sign. Uh, sorry, not Scorpio sign. Uh, Scorpio's house. Um, so there is a lot of transformative type of energy happening with you guys. There is going to be an overwhelming feeling of emotions for some of you. Um, it's very transformative. The eight house represents all to do with secrets, with our subconscious, with psychology, with the way we see the world and the way we see uh, relationships. And it's all to do with secrets and tapping into our most darkest desires, whether they be good or bad. Um, so we can definitely see these heavy energies here. We have the two of pentacles. Uh, there is a need for balance. You may feel overwhelming, um, overwhelming feeling of emotions, like you're not able to control either your temper, your attitude, your um, being emotional. You may catch yourself or finding yourself crying out of nowhere or because something very uh, small, you know, a very small inconvenience. But the reason for this is because you have all of these energies that are overflowing. They could be very heavy energy to deal with. Uh, the Two of Pentacles indicates having the need for balance. You also have the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords. So this is a lot of anxiousness. This is a lot of worry. For some of you guys, this could be transformative energy in the sense of um, changing jobs, changing careers. For some of you guys, this could also represent having the need uh, to move or find a different residency because you've outgrown where you're at at the present time. Now, although this push for growth may come at a very inconvenient time, so what I mean by that is circumstances might not be ideal for you, but it doesn't mean that it's not going to benefit you in the long run. Now, in regards to relationships, you may be dealing with a father figure, or a, f a father figure is going to be taking uh, center stage for some of you guys. This could be your partner's uh, father. This could be your father. Um, and what they're saying is that this is going to uh, bring you guys closer. Uh, it's going to bring you guys closer in the sense of it's going to draw you guys to really become an emotional support to one another. Uh, so it could be family issues that start to come up. Um, in regards to a father figure, it could be health, health-wise. Uh, it could be just if there was some type of distancing between a parent, uh, whether it be you or whether it be your partner, there is a reconnection that happens. And through that process, there is an overcoming of, an overcoming of an obstacle, um, or blockage, I should say, that you've been holding on to. For some of you guys, it could be getting to the point of perhaps there hasn't been distancing, but there's been some type of frustration brewing. Um, and you find yourself in the month of October expressing exactly what you've been holding or what you've been feeling. Uh, and it could have some type of connection with the father figure. But what they're saying here is you're finding that emotional balance or emotional support with your partner. We have the Hermit card, and the Hermit card is all to do with internalizing what we're feeling and learning to be able to express it. And I think that for some of you guys, you've been holding on to wanting to express because you often worry that you don't want to hurt people's feelings, especially if we're dealing with, as an example, if it's your partner's father um, that perhaps has a lot of toxic traits or your father. 
uh, and, and it's really difficult for you to open up and tell them what's really on your mind because you don't want to hurt. And, and I know this is something that Scorpio has a tendency of doing, especially when it's loved ones. Um, but we have the emperor here, and this is a representation of Aries. And Aries is a fire energy, which could represent the planet of Mars. So again, we have Mars being very activated. So you become a little bit more aggressive. You become a little bit more loose with your mouth when you can hold back that anger. So there is situations that are going to be arising where you're going to be standing up for yourself or speaking up, maybe for your partner as well. If you feel like the, the, the parent or the father figure has a tendency of being toxic um, and you've had enough and you speak up or you say something to your partner where you feel like they could either be, they have like helping out in situations that it's not their business to help out in anymore. Um, it's codependency. And it could be you speaking up or it could be your partner dealing with this. Keep in mind it is a general reading. But what they're saying is that we're coming to that conclusion of that. Coming to the point of understanding, I love you and there's so much I can do. But then if I continuously keep doing, then I become part of the problem. So I do see you guys coming together or drawing closer because of these family issues and being very supportive towards one another. Now, for those of you guys that are single, what they're saying here is you're coming to the understanding that it's time to let go of the past. For a lot of you guys, those of you guys that have been single, there could have been a situation that was very toxic, that you were holding on to either resentment, anger, or feeling like you were taken for granted and they didn't appreciate you. And this anger or hurt hurt is what they're saying you could have been holding holding on to that feeling or trying to convince yourself that you've gotten to the point of hating this person but it's not really hate it's hurt and when this feeling of hurt still has such power or control over you inevitably you still have love for that person so you have to let go of that you have to let go of feeling or of allowing this other person that has moved on or has continued about their life to continue having power or hold of you. Don't do it for them. Do it for yourself, Scorpio. Because what they're saying is this is, you're going into this, again, you're getting Pluto's return, right? It's going to empower you. It's going to strengthen you. It's going to bring to you a lot of blessings. But we have to let go of what's keeping us or what's holding us down. And for some of you guys, that's the past. Now the hermit is internalizing, saying enough is enough. I'm going to let go of this hurt or this feeling of animosity that I'm still holding towards you because you know what? You didn't appreciate me. And I'm not going to sit here and wait or continue to wait for an apology. I'm taking my life back. And I'm moving on. I'm working on myself, on my career, on my money, on my self-healing. To then be able to embrace a new beginning. The Ten of Swords is the ending cycle of that stress, of that mental strife. All right, my lovelies, I hope this gives you guys some type of insight, some type of guidance, like, share, and comment, and uh, you guys have a happy Hallow's Eve. Stay safe, my lovelies. Bye.